far away from here I knew of an angel uh, but they had to abort mission thus creating the opportunity for you to pick up where they left off That's the fans to rehab and dad dad let me ask Chase why he takes the AR face copy and then maybe I'm gonna run my numbers if that is you don't email me about this property almost had it <laughs> got it one more time one more time oh get it one more Come on, man. Put some couple two three more times <laughs> starting over one two he's trying to make me work this fucking book thing in now it's making it harder for me welcome to the investment properties for sales show folks thing is selling at or above list we are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education we take you to the video tour won't wise be giving it to you straight rehabs are tough y'all it ain't easy renovating houses man it's tough, right? Some people treat it like a book. You open it up, read a few pages, put that sucker down, ain't ever pick it up again, man. But for everybody that starts a rehab, gets in a little bit over their heads, realizes how tough it actually is renovating properties in the Cleveland market, y'all, that provides an opportunity for investors like me, investors like you. And that's exactly what I have for you today, right? 14201 Edgewood, right? This particular duplex, Mom and pop landlord, local cat, starts working on it. And he actually did some pretty nice work, too. Uh, oftentimes, you know, we'll pick up a rehab, like, halfway through. Investor got in over their head. They gave up and, like, oh, the, the work is just, like, terrible, right? Uh, not the case here, right? Like, like this front porch, totally rebuilt the front porch. Looking pretty good, right? This front porch, I, I'm pretty impressed by what I'm seeing here. And then you go into the downstairs unit, and it looks like, you know, they were in the process of putting this sucker back together, making it look pretty good, uh, but they had to abort mission, thus creating the opportunity for you to pick up where they left off, right? They got one tenant upstairs. They're paying a little under market rent. They're paying $750. That should really be $875. And then when you put the pieces back together on this downstairs unit, you'll get another $875, right? So we're looking at $1,750 a month in rent, right? The ask right now, $59.9. Uh, of course, you're going to need to go in and you're going to need to finish off this down unit renovation. Uh, I'm imagining you're probably going to want to walk this either yourself if you are a contractor yourself or with your team of contractors. That's totally fine with us. If you'd like to walk this uh, to put together the scope of work to make sure you could finish off your rehab bid, just send that to my team, sales at HoltonWise.com. I will tell you this, folks. I'm not 100% sure exactly why this investor uh, had to abort mission, but I will tell you guys this. This is a transitionally uh, tough and rough neighborhood. It's a difficult neighborhood, right? There's like pretty decent neighborhoods surrounding it, but this one, it's, it's tough, man. That makes uh, for a tough investment. So what I will say is this is probably not the very best investment for brand newbies, out-of-state investors with no team, right? This is one of those investments that's going to work really well for those seasoned landlords, seasoned home renovators, seasoned contractors. Guys and gals who've been in the game a long time, they're gristled. They know how to work tough neighborhoods. They know how to work the Section 8 program. They know what's up with Eden, and they could get in there quickly, efficiently, cost-effectively, finish off this rehab, get this thing fully occupied, running like a cash flow machine, right? So if you're out there and you're watching today's show and you're like, duh, that looks really cool. Let me ask James how much it's going to cost to finish the rehab. And then, then let me ask James why he takes the AR face copy and then maybe I'm going to run my numbers. If that is you, don't fucking email me about this property, motherfucker, because it ain't your bag, man. You're not the investor uh, who's going to see success with it, right? Uh, I'm talking to investors out there who know what they're doing, who are able to take a distressed underwater, so to speak, uh, halfway aboard admission and are able to put it back together because they've been in the game a long time. They know what they're doing. Those are the kind of people that are going to make big coin off of this one. The people that, that get it, that have a team in place, that they themselves have been in the game running low-income properties, dealing with difficult neighborhoods. Those people are the people that are going to make 
the most sense. Those are the people that are going to make the most money off of this. Now, if you're a newbie and you don't want to heed my advice and you think that this one is for you, hey, that's fine. That's well and good. I wish you the best. You can absolutely submit your offer just like anybody else to my team at sales at holtonweiss.com. But I believe that there is no good or bad property. I believe that we got to get the right property at the right price at the right time for the right investor. And in my opinion, uh, this is not what I would consider to be like a newbie type project. I think this is more for the advanced seasoned investor. But hey, what do I know? I've only sold $200 million worth of real estate in the Cleveland market. Ah, don't listen to me. Anybody and everybody, though, who does want to pick up this opportunity, get your cash in because this one's probably going to go quick. Got to be cash offers, folks. Uh, if you're, you know, also new out there and you're like, that James, the guy in that store that could possibly do the deal for me, man. I just, I walk in the game, but I don't got, you know, I need a lender. I don't got no money. Ain't going to work, pal. It ain't going to work, Brandon. It's not going to work out there because... The home is not livable in both units. You see, it's midway through the reno, right? So you got to put together the bottom unit. So banks want habitable housing. This is not habitable housing for that vacant unit, right? So I need my seasoned, gristled vets that got the cash. I need you guys to submit your offers. Cash only, baby. Sales at HoltonWise.com. Like I said, you want to get in there, do your inspection, finish off your scope of work before you put in that bid. Just email sales at HoltonWise.com. I'll get you in there. Almost had it. <laughs> Got it. One more time. One more time. Oh, I'll get it one more. Come on, man. Put some muscle Come on, a couple, two, three more times. <laughs> Perfect. Hold on, can you? What the fuck? Is that a shitter in there? <laughs> yep. Keep your spare shitters. Starting over. One. Two. He's trying to make me work this fucking book thing in. Now it's making it harder for me! Rehabs are tough, y'all. You wanna explain what you're doing? <laughs> you're recording? Yeah. Um, I have some screws, and I'm gonna fasten the sign to the house. And I bet the uh, workers are gonna be a little upset. Hey Steve, uh, you gave us a laundry list of things to do, and guess what? We did one of them. We got one. like the one basically he, nothing done. The one that he thought we weren't gonna get into, I was like, bro, we already did it. Let's slop them up, boys. Let's get some of that slop them up. Derek, get out of my shot. God, damn. I'm gonna start here, bro. Did you know? We used up a lot of battery for having only filmed Whoa. one house. Far away from here. I knew of an angel. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.